who is articulate and bright and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. Yeah. There is a part of Biden that feels more Reagan-esque that way. You're like, ah, it's Grandpa. It's Uncle Joe. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Those oh that Joe moments are part of his political charm. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. So much of what is appealing about him to a lot of voters is the fact that he's authentic. I got hairy legs. The fact that he doesn't yeah. always seem scripted. The kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. Your AR-14s are what? Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, let's you go. Know, Charles, there's 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 Biden yesterday uh, showed the other side of his humanity, uh, and that is he's a fighter. You're full of and some people see that as charming, a candidate who's willing to air it out face to face with a guy. This is going to be a net plus for Joe Biden. Ashton Carter, Joe Biden, the vice president, was swearing him in to be defense secretary. He waved his wife over and a uh, little hands-on treatment from the vice president. Everybody knows he's a touchy-feely guy and he's just very friendly. He is. He was reportedly comforting her after she fell on ice. It's bread and love. Coon said Maggie was not uncomfortable at all. <laughs> They're going to put you all back in chains. He's making an historic reference he may not have been right to do, but it certainly wasn't malignant. I'm not even sure it had any anything to do with race. Play the radio. Make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night. The, the, the phone. Still, he is a master of the quick recovery. Make sure the kids hear words. These qualities are almost endearing to voters. We choose truth over facts. They find him more believable because he makes missteps every so often. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, it's Chris, I mean, but anyway. Chris. These gaffes are also a part of who he is as a politician. We've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle. We, they, we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health.